everyone, I'm Gurshan and in the previous video we have seen how to create the file structure. So we have created a file in sources folder as well as we have seen what a move.tml file is. For a quick revision, uh, it basically include important things like dependency and addresses. So in this video we are going to see what are the various primitive data types that move provides. So Let's see. And this double slash is used to represent comments in move. So primitive data types. And also for comments, for block comments, you can use like this. This is a blog comment. Again, just represent with end it with star and slash so now let's move on so for seeing like what are the various primitive data types we are going to write a small piece of code so let's write module my address let's name it practice now let's see what are the various primitive data types? Now there are three primitive data types, integers, unsigned integers, and we have Boolean and addresses. So let's see them one by one. So let's write a basic function. Function will be covered in next video in depth, but for in this video, we are just writing a simple private function. We are not passing any argument and we are not returning anything. It is just for showing you like how we can uh, define primitive data types. So let's see first one, integers. Now more providers only provide us way only to represent unsigned integers and it provide us u8 u64 and u128 the only difference is in their ranges so as you can see u8 range is from this to this and u64 is this to this and u128 is from 0 to this range so let's see how to represent now we write let a colon u8 because we are uh, using this u8 so let's say this is equal to 10 then semicolon and let's print it now for printing how we can print this value this a we are going to use a modloid on this standard address this debug module it has a print function so we are going to use this print function specifically in this debug module so how to write we will simply pass ampersand a and this will print it now how to call this function for calling this function we are going to write a small piece of test case now test case uh, tests are very useful you know you can just simply test your code before deploying it it's very useful tool in move language so let's see how to write tests we will simply write test again it is a function so we will write function as soon we are going testing <coughs> and in this testing we will simply call this primitive types function so yeah i think this should work now let's call it now to run a test we will write simply aptos move test now before moving on to see all the various command that aptos move provide just write aptos move and press enter you will see all the important commands we mainly use this compile one to compile the code and we will see this publish command to deploy this contract on aptos blockchain and this test one so let's see this test command aptos move test you can see 
this output output 10 so similarly you can use uh, let's represent u64 and u128 128 you can write anything it should be a positive integers okay, within this range okay. add to some test yeah you can see the output now uh, for representing bigger number let's say our number is one two three four so and so now this is big number and it's quite unreadable so what we can do is move providers way to make this number much more readable so we can use underscore okay now this number is much more readable so let's now test it yeah see output is same we haven't changed anything it just for reading purpose to make the number much more readable okay so moving on also we can just simply define the number as uh, instead of specifying that this is u64 or u or u 128 we can just simply write let's see equals to 123 and let's print this you can see the output 123 now i will uh, just for now you can see like the, we haven't specified like this is u8 or u64 u128 so it automatically get assigned u64 but we will see much more about this in uh, casting video so for now you can just simply you know just see that this is uh, u64 now moving on now let's see the next primitive data type in move language which is boolean now boolean is just true or false right so similarly like we have uh, represented the integers we are going to represent boolean let's say um, a and you have to write bool equals to true let's print it You can see the output as true so now again you can also again you can write b bool equals false or you can just simply write it without mentioning this bool yeah true and false so moving on this is this was boolean data type next we are going to see is addresses very important in move language let a d address one equals two again you will write address equals to now there are two things in this that we have to see first of all for representing address we always write this at the rate and then the name of the address or the numerical value of the address so let's first of all write the name of the address let's use this my address in this move.tml file which is my address which is 0x42 
so here we are represent uh, using named address next we will see numerical address instead of passing this name we can just simply write 0x 1 2 3 1 2 4 let's say so this is numerical address now again let's try to print it So you can see the output 0x42, 0x124. So this was all about the data types in move. We have seen like three primitive data types that move provide us integers, boolean, and addresses. Thank you.